Christian, let's talk about hostels. Everyone's always asking me about hostels, and their first reaction is, isn't that scary? Why do people get so scared about hostels? <laughs> um, I think some of it has to do with the movies that are out there, and two, I think people, when anytime you're not sure about something, if you've never tried it out yourself, sometimes mm-hmm. it's a little nerve-wracking to do something like that, and especially because you're staying with a bunch of people from all over the world that you don't know. Which makes it a really cool, exciting exactly. option as well. It's actually what makes it fun, is meeting people from all over the world. We've met people from Israel and from Switzerland and from Paris and all over. So so what is a hostel anyway? Some people say, well, isn't that like a concrete room where you sleep on the floor? No, it's basically like a dormitory, and there's places for like four people or three people. So we stayed in one one time that was 12 to 15 girls. You can stay girls in a room or guys in a room or together. Um, we always stay just girls when we travel, but it's just a really fun experience. There's a, play, there's a um, place actually where you can have breakfast or do lunch. So if you picture a really, really basic hotel with just the necessities, it's kind of like that. You can have a private room, or you can, like Christian mm-hmm. said, if you want to save a lot of money and meet a, a lot of new people, you can stay in a, a larger room with six or even ten girls in each mm-hmm. room. So, yes, you do have a little less privacy with that option, but you're also meeting new people. Uh, a lot of times they have a living room, a computer room, a place to do laundry, mm-hmm. or a kitchen where you can cook your own food. And people can cook food and share it with you. Yes, we've which, had some awesome meals at these hostels. Yeah. And you know what? You meet really cool people from around the world. So we've made some really good friends from it. So it's it's a really neat option. And I would say if uh, if you're going to be staying at a hostel, of course, use common sense and use safety as well. Um, yes. Use safety, uh, safety measures as well. And we've even put um, on our website just mm-hmm. a page of things to do, especially as women traveling, like safety tips that you need to remember. And I would definitely say check that out because it's important to, no matter where you go, be safe. But definitely look at this as an option. And, and like she said, travel safely. But make sure you step a little bit out of your comfort zone and have an adventure as well.